Hello, um, this this is going to have lots of oranges and browns in. I like drawing things with orange and brown. I used to do lots of pottery when I was younger and one of my happiest times has been sitting drawing pottery <laughs> with chalk, in fact. I, I really enjoyed that. All the details, all the crenulations on the surface. Really good. This has got lots of surface texture as well and it is um, rock and stone. So it's a similar substance. It's got all the same minerals in as your average pot. It's not humanly crafted though, it's it's a moon. It is. In fact, it's Phobos. Phobos, the moon of Mars. It's a, it's an image that I've seen quite a few times. It's a well-known image. It's a, it's a NASA image. It's, it's a tiny, it's a tiny, teeny lump of rock that floats round Mars. Imagine though, imagine having a little planet just going round and round and round you. And, and Phobos is so small, it, it goes around twice a day. It must be, it must be incredible being on it, like a little roller coaster. It's fabulous. It's not big. <laughs> it's, it's about seven miles, seven miles wide, really. It's so small. It's so small that if you were 10 stone, which uh, I, I, I'm not saying anything, You'd be two ounces, two ounces on Phobos. That's, that's, that's not much gravity at all. That's barely enough gravity to hold itself together again, isn't it? You can't imagine that it, 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 you'd just think that that would just dissolve and float off or be dragged down. In fact, it is, it is gradually like a, like a couple of centimetres a year. It's just going down towards Mars. It's, it's not going to go for a couple of weeks, certainly. <laughs> You'd be all right for a bit. It's it's three thousand seven hundred miles apparently from the Martian surface. So so it, it, we if you lived on Mars, you'd get to see it passing by, Vroom, like that. You, you get to see it for a while, a bit longer than you're there probably. It's um it's been viewed from the surface, so we know what it looks like from the surface. And there's a couple of videos of it from the surface of Mars. You can see it traveling in front of the sun. And of course the sun looks a bit smaller, but Phobos is so tiny that it doesn't cover the sun like the moon covers the sun when we have an eclipse. It's just, just makes that little polar mint effect that it passes across. And it's not even round. It's, it's like a potato. It's got a lump out of it. And this, this picture I'm drawing is a picture of Stickney Crater. Stickney Crater is five and a half miles wide. So that's significant if you think about the width of the actual moon. That's incredibly large. It's like so big that you, you in theory, it should have blown up the moon, an object hitting it and creating a crater that large. But they reckon that Phobos is, it's like sand and gravel inside like a, a sandbag it just it just took the blow and a lump fell off the side and 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 they also think well they don't know and they think that maybe maybe this isn't the case but they also think that the the lumps of rock that were thrown out of the crater sort of dragged and tumbled and rolled across the surface of and because the the surface of phobos is so sort of soft potentially that it's gouged these trenches they're like really miles long trenches like like a hundred foot deep trenches just scored out of the moon's surface they're not sure there's been some talk of it being like the gravitational impact of it being so close to mars it's the closest moon to a planet in the solar system so it must be quite hard work it's staying up there and it's got like they, they talk about it as being like stretch marks uh, as it's being pushed and pulled and having had twins I, I can understand that feeling. Uh, so Phobos is, is um, connected to Mars and Mars is obviously named after the god of war and Phobos is named after the uh, the god of fear of war and uh, it, there's two moons on Mars Phobos and Deimos and they're brothers and, and Deimos is dread and terror <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It's great fun. Uh, the fear and panic, which is, which is lovely. I think if I was Phobos, I would fear Mars also. 
because eventually it is going to smash into the surface of Mars. So that's understandable that it might be the physical presentation of, of fear, of war. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great. Uh, any, anyway, uh, they, they, Phobos was discovered, both of the moons, Phobos and Deimos, they were both discovered late 1800s by uh, an astronomer called Asaph Hall. And he, he was, uh, when he was looking for the moons of Mars, he, he had access to the largest telescope in the world which is rather splendid. It was apparently uh, 26 inch with 66 centimetres, which is, uh, in my opinion, really very big. But, but then again, to the average person, it, it would seem like quite a large telescope lens, but uh, we're not professional. Well, I, but uh, but I, I'm not a professional astronomer. <laughs> he found out a bunch of stuff. Um, he, he worked out lots of mathematical computations based around uh, uh, orbits and rotations on planets and lots of stuff about positioning and, and rotation and, uh, and, and things like that. And uh, yes, he was, uh, it, it was his wife encouraged him to, to look for the moons of Mars. Uh, she'd in fact taught him geometry at college uh, and then they, they later married. So she had to give up work, of course, <laughs> but, but apparently uh, helped him and uh, only stopped helping him when she had the temerity to ask for a bit of cash and he said no so but he was he was very grateful for her support and uh, inspiration throughout the whole process of finding the satellites in mars and, and her name's uh, the name for the, uh, the the crater this crater that i'm drawing in fact angeline stickney and this is this is stickney crater he named it that it's 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 one of the few geological things on Phobos that's not named after uh, a character in Gulliver's Travels, which is fine, but it, it, it's a thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, this isn't far off done, to be honest, this picture. I really enjoyed it. This took me a little bit longer than usual. This this was about three hours, this one took me. I, I, I spent a lot of time faffing around, but I, I really enjoyed doing those subtle differences in brown. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. I, I really appreciate it.